Got another sample for you guys to review. This one's coming from Infuse Spirits. Hey, welcome back Whiskey Questers to another episode of Whiskey Quest. Everybody new to the channel, my name's Antonio. And oh man, does this smell already? Holy moly. All right. So this right here, before I get started, was sent to me by um, Martin from the YouTube channel, Mac57TX Whiskey Guy. If you guys haven't checked him out yet, uh, please do. He's he's donated a, quite a few uh, samples to the channel and every single bit uh, or every single one that he's donated uh, has been uh, greatly appreciated and very tasty. So today we have Infused Spirits, Broken Barrel Bourbon. So I know a little bit about this company here, Infused Spirits. Uh, I know they, they started off making infused uh, vodka, but the one thing that grabbed my attention was that uh, they only use natural ingredients like natural fruits and in, in, their, in their vodkas, if you guys look them up, uh, they'll just put in like, you know, if they're infusing it with orange, they'll have an orange in there. If it's a, a pear, they'll have a pear, whatever, you know, cinnamon, they'll have a cinnamon in there. So it's all natural ingredients going into their infusion, which is one of the reasons why I'm, I got into drinking bourbon uh, or whiskey in general is because everything they use is it's not going to be like, it's not going to have preservatives. It's not going to have a whole bunch of junk that you don't really want to put into your body, right? Uh, minus it being a delicious poison, <laughs> but that's the main reason why I got into uh, into whiskey. So when I when I heard about this company, it really grabbed my attention. Uh, me not being a huge vodka drinker, I didn't really go out and buy that. But when I heard about this broken barrel bourbon, uh, from what I understand is they'll they'll source. I think it's from Kentucky. So can, can, I don't know if it's a straight bourbon. But for sure, it's a bourbon from Kentucky, and it's it's not a like a, a, a vintage bourbon that they grab. It's probably something young. But what they do is they'll grab barrel staves from from uh, uh, other things like maybe other whiskeys. I, I'm pretty sure they use some kind of like sherry casks uh, in this. And but what they do is that they just smash those barrels, and they they throw that into the whiskey where it's aging uh, with those broken staves. And uh, that, that's where it gets the name, Broken Barrel. So <laughs> pretty cool what they're doing that. Uh, after they're done and ready to bottle, they filter all that uh, all that stuff that they, <laughs> that's they been uh, sitting in the whiskey and uh, bottle it and then they ship it out and hope for the best, I guess, right? But uh, I don't know, I don't know. Very interesting uh method and uh technique and idea going on over there so let's get straight into this and see what's going on so since it's a bourbon uh it has to be natural color right now this right here has a nice dark uh not like mahogany but it's a, a like a dark tea you know so very nice color there but let's see what we get on the nose Yeah, it just smells like a bourbon. Lots of orange citrus. Nice, like a, like a, like a sweet oak. Nutty. Like, like, like a salted peanut shells to me. A little bit of caramel developing, some vanillas. You're your typical bourbon stuff. But that salted uh, uh, peanut shells, pretty nice, pretty nice. Reminds me of uh, going to the circus as a kid with my with my parents. <sighs> nice, very nice. Legs on this though is, is right now when I pulled it away, it, they're sticking to the glass. I mean, they do come down uh, a little quick, but for the most part, yeah, some of them are just hanging there. All right, let's just go straight into the taste, guys. I don't think I'm getting anything else. <sighs> Smells good though. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Martin. Thanks for sharing. Mm. Wow. 
It is a little bit on the aggressive side, but I like it. I like it. Mmm. Yeah, lots going on here. Again, that I think that peanut shell, salted peanut shells come through on the palate. All right, one more taste, one more taste. It's weird. It's reminding me of like a like a Jack Daniels kind of kind of sharpness, but at the same time, delicious. Uh, nice caramel, nice chocolate flavors coming through. The oak is not overpowering. But yeah, you also get those, uh, like the fruity, I get some apples, some pears, those oranges. Like dark, like a dark fruit. I can't put my finger on it, but I don't know, maybe figs or something like that. Yeah, but you have a nice oily, buttery mouthfeel and it lingers for quite a bit. Uh, uh, nice spiciness going on, but not spicy from the alcohol. It's just, just like spicy. It's very nice, actually. Some cinnamon towards the back. Mm. I have to add a drop of water because when it's this oily, I'm pretty sure it's going to handle it and maybe who knows what it's going to bring out. So while that's opening up, let's take out the trusty phone here and uh, do a little bit of research to see what goes into this right here. Maybe the price. Uh, as for the proof, it doesn't taste that high. So I'm thinking maybe somewhere like around 90. Yeah, like 90, 90 proof on this one. So let's see what's going on. A uh, quick Google search for what's it called again? Infuse spirit broken barrel bourbon all right uh let's see they got their website here let's go straight to their website so yeah here's one vodkas with the fruits in there but let's go straight to the bourbon all right here we go broken barrel that they have a rye uh looks like oh 95 proof and look they have a like 116 proof so that's probably like a cast strength for them nice let's see so this is probably like a small batch bourbon oh they combine x bourbon cherry and french oak broken barrel staves to to this to this aging process wow Wow. See, I didn't get that walnut. It was more like peanut shells to me. But let's see. I want to find out a price. I think the whiskey wash was reviewing this up here. So yeah, 95 proof. I was thinking 90, so it doesn't doesn't drink that strong. 25 to 30 dollars for a 750 mil. That is not a bad price, guys. That is not a bad price. Uh I'm interested. I might get the, the cast strength if I see it. <sighs> yeah, some nice honey coming out now that it's been in the glass for a while. Well, actually, I added water, didn't I? So, yeah, that's that honey came out. Strong. Caramel butterscotch. Not getting the salted uh, peanut shells. <sighs> actually, now that I saw walnut, I might start picking up walnuts, but that's the power suggestion going on. More vanilla, less of that oak going on. Those fruity notes are hidden now. <sighs> Smells pretty good with some water. Cheers, everybody. Oh, very nice. Brought out a little bit more spiciness, but, but also tame at the same time. Kind of weird to explain, but it tingles your mouth, your tongue for a bit. But then you get hit with those that like butterscotchy, caramel, chocolate kind of flavors. And again, those food notes aren't really showing up as it was before. Yeah, second sip there, I did get a little bit more of that saltiness going on. A little bit more oak towards the end. So a shorter finish, but nonetheless, it's still very flavorful. I think. These guys did a good job. I wish I knew where they sourced their uh, 
bourbon from. Maybe I could compare it uh, before they went through that process. But uh, yeah, pretty tasty for 25 bucks. My final thoughts is if you haven't tried this, uh, uh, if you don't mind spending that money, I don't think it's going to disappoint. You know, 25 to 30 bucks. I think they did a great job. If anything, if anything, like I said, I'm going to look for that uh, higher proof cast strength bottle. Having tasted this, I think I think I, I would spend my money on that one. But uh, yeah, pretty tasty. Martin, once again, brother, you hooked it up with something good and delicious that um, I, I had heard about but forgotten about. So thanks for sharing it. Uh, if you guys like this content and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. Or at least give me a thumbs up and share with your friends if you like it. Also, uh, that all that helps the channel. Uh, trying to hit that uh, 1,500 milestone, hopefully by the end of this year. So I only got a few more days left <laughs> this month, but we'll see. I'm at 14... 1,406, I think, at the at this time of recording. So, almost there, almost there. Got one more sample to review, and uh, and then I'm gonna do my uh, top three uh, whiskeys of 2021. Uh, stay tuned for those two videos. That sample it's going to be guaranteed to be a good one. So, uh, I'm gonna get straight on that one, and then do my other video. So, cheers, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.